ladies and gentlemen. I hope some of you have seen this story. This comes out of Ireland. This is a black gymnast that was standing with other girls. They were white girls, you know, and they're all part of the same gymnast class. And this woman right here in the blue goes down the line and you can clearly see the white girls got on their medals right here. You see the one here, right here, right here, right here, right? They all got their medals on and she skips over this girl and just keeps right on down giving the medals out to the white girls, right? Now, if you try to upload the video, which I did try to do, YouTube will flag you now. Look, let's talk. They did put a statement out on the website and it's the same BS statement. Let me just say a few things. Y'all look stupid putting these statements out. You look stupid. You may think you don't. You may think you're doing something great. There's no greatness in these statements. You don't condone this and you don't do that and you racism has no place in our society. Racism has had a place all over this globe for many centuries now. And there has never been no big effort over these centuries to get rid of it. In fact, you will step up on it. The only thing that we can do where your word is not bigger and greater than ours is if we film your butt. See, before you could say, you could lie your asses off and you would be believed and that you would only be believed because the person that you're telling looks just like you. How convenient. But now it doesn't matter if that person looked just like you, because if we film your butt doing it, you can't wiggle out of it as easy. Now you lose your job. Many of you will run to social media and try to scrub everything off of social media, close down all of your social media accounts. But you know what, even that's in vain. Because you know what they'll do, ladies and gentlemen, they'll just lay low, let everything die out, and then they'll just come back to social media. Don't think these people that have ran off of social media didn't come back. Many of them have come back. They figure, you know, the public will have a, a short memory about the whole thing and they can just come back. And they do. They don't stay off forever. So when you put these statements out, I, I don't think it's having the impact that you think it's having, you know, and just y'all, we live in a society where these folks are insulting our intelligence every day. They want you to believe a person that is racist and a person that is talking against racism that's the same. One is as bad as the other. Now, we don't believe that. And they can keep saying this over and over and over. It's not having any impact. They think it is. See, it's believable to only those that are racist. But we have enough discernment to see there are differences. And they know it's differences too, but they think they're going to get away with making you believe this garbage that they have somehow come up with. Nobody is believing this. I don't even know why you keep going on and on with it at this point. Nobody is believing it. So if you need people to believe you, then sit around a bunch of races that look just like you and perhaps they'll believe it.
that's where that's the only place it's going to be believed <laughs> okay it's not going to be believed among anyone else so ladies and gentlemen there's a reason why karen is in the black community teaching your children karen is not just the mother of racism karen is the mother of indoctrinating your black children in a school setting that's why she's there she's not there to teach your kids that's why black children all around this nation are always behind they're always behind because karen is not there to teach your children she is there to show your children what their place is in her demented mind. But the problem is they can't make us stay in that place. <laughs> okay. They can put all of this in your head and try to impose all this stuff upon you. But at the end of the day, they can't make you believe nothing. Now, this metal incident, it took the mother the mother did call it out of this little girl it took them 17 months to come to a conclusion she did get the medal but of course not when it counted the most when she should have gotten it along with these little white girls so they made sure the moment passed You know, the, the bottom line is we have to get to a position where we don't put up with this anymore. When you see these incidents happening in school or any setting for that matter, please don't turn around and send your children back into the lion's den. Don't send them back. I, I don't think, how are you really being a parent and you're putting your child back into a volatile situation? They're children. This woman in the navy blue is an adult. Children and adults should not be locking horns and fighting like that. And I got a problem with adults like her. She better stay in Ireland. <laughs> and stay an unknown name at this point. When your kids are going through this, don't send them back, y'all. I'm dead serious. I even hate that she is the only Black child in this class. And I don't like that our people do that either. You know, I, I realize sometimes you may live, you may move to a neighborhood where it really is not that many of us there. I do get it. But you see what happened to her in this situation. This woman was blatant. She just skipped right over her and kept going to the white girls and putting those medals around their neck. This is what we mean when we say microaggressions, because y'all do this. You, you do this on jobs. You do this in school. You do this out and about. You display your microaggressions towards Black men, women, and children. You do this all the time. Or you'll walk past a group of our people and you say something flippant or nasty or even racist, and they're not even bothering you. That, that's the worst part. They're not even bothering you. So what did this little child do to this grown ass woman? What, was she better than the other girls in the class? Is that what got to her? Is that what it was? You know, I'm glad people are speaking out against this. I've been seeing the different videos online. You know, this is kind of murky because it's a still shot from the video. 
And, you know, despite this happening, the little girl was humble and she just stood there. But you could see the hurt in her face that this woman did that to her. You know, I don't know who this woman is. She should not be a, you know, once you display your racism to children and you're in some kind of setting, that person should not be allowed to come around children again. You see, I'm a big opposer to something happening and that person gets to continue on in their position. You know, that's one thing because of racism, everything is backwards in all of these societies worldwide. If you are on a job and somebody hangs a noose around you and you go complain, they won't get rid of the person that hung the noose. They, they know who did it. Y'all don't ever believe these supervisors and managers and they don't know what's going on. They're lying to you. They know exactly who's doing it. They know when it was done, how it was done. They know. They just are sitting there playing dumb in your face. When they sit there uh, trying to pretend like they don't know, never believe them. Never believe them. So... This was resolved through a mediation. Unbelievable. All she had to do was give this little girl her medal. Now you had to go and do a mediation to resolve this whole thing. And it took 17 months. And all she had to do was take a split second to put that medal around this little black girl's neck. But, you know, since they want to be that way, y'all, keep making them pay. Keep making them pay over and over and over and over. Keep lawyering up just like you are and keep making them dig in their wallets to pay. I'm cool with that. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.